All right, well, we just dropped off the boy at youth group and we use this opportunity to go out and have a date night. I know that sounds silly, but yeah, it's really important to the relationship that you you take that time, you know, for yourself and your your relationship. So if you're not doing that, I want to encourage you guys to really just make sure you, you know, make sure you're you're having that time together where it's just you guys and it's something to look forward to during the, in the middle of the week, you know, in a hard week of work. Yeah. It's like a time we can relax, connect, you know, with each other a little bit when we maybe have had a real busy week. We just kind of catch up. Yeah, I think a lot of a, a lot of parents, we it's really easy to get into the business relationship mode. Definitely. And, and what well, suddenly we're the marriage counseling channel now. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we're doing tonight. We're going out. Well, we're going out for happy hour, well, right? Yeah, happy hour. So, you know, that's that's really cool. I personally, I look forward to it all day long. I know Kim's going to dress it up a little bit. I'm going to be my normal t-shirt self and stuff, but... Um, a black t-shirt. I like that. You know, but you got to do that or else your, your relationship gets stagnant and it stays like a business relationship. So Definitely. that's what we're doing tonight. We're going to go out and we just want to encourage you guys, you know, make sure you do that as well. Take care of each other first as well. You know, some a lot of people put the kids first. You, you got to kid take care of each other first. That's just kind of what I'm saying. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, we we got some granite for our countertops in the kitchen, and we're excited about that. Just really spoke excited. with our installer guy, and he found some for us. And you know, we're not going high end. We're not, you know, we're not loaded on this. So we're gonna. You know, we're gonna keep it really simple. Um, yeah, I've had those original uh, yeah. tile countertops ever since we've lived in the house. You know, the tile that the food like gets stuck in the grout and you've gotta scrub it with a it's toothbrush. It's 70s tile, it's 80s crazy. tile. Yeah. Oh, I'm just tired of scrubbing it with a toothbrush to get all that food out. So that's gonna be really nice yeah. to have the granite. And I'm really looking forward to cooking. And, I, and I'm kind of excited because uh, I've never been able to get granite before for Kim to, you know, really, give her a nice kitchen and stuff like that. So we're excited about it. Again, we're not like, talking about high-end stuff here or anything. Hey guys, just getting some before shots of our kitchen because today the granite guy, in fact, in just a few minutes here, the granite guy is coming to install our new granite countertops and our new kitchen sink. So I'm really excited about that. We've had this tile um, ever since we moved in the house. It's the original tile and it's that kind you can see with the grout that all the food gets stuck and it's just kind of gets disgusting after a while. So I'm really excited to be finally getting a new kitchen and we're also gonna be getting a new um, stove and oven. So we gotta get all the cabinets cleaned out and everything out of here within the next like, oh, 20 minutes or so before the guy comes. So I better get busy. We just had um, some countertops installed yesterday, which I'm really excited about. And as you can see, I've got dishes all over my countertop because our water is not hooked up yet to our sink. Got camera guy here under the sink, doing his very favorite thing in the whole world to do. Just kidding, plumbing. Hooking up the garbage disposal, hooking up the water. Let's go see how he's doing over here. How's it going? Well, I'm following step-by-step -step instructions because I'm not really good at this kind of stuff. So <clears throat> I got to follow these kinds okay, of videos. Okay, now let's reverse the process. <laughs> You're on your and iPad doing plumbing. <laughs> it's a good idea, actually. Apply a new rope of plumber's putty to the new flange. Check. And press it firmly in place. Check. From below, insert a gasket over the flange. Check. Then a second flange. So. And then the mounting ring. I don't have a second flange. See? See this? Under the sink somewhere from yesterday? Well, no, I kept all the, I kept it all separate, but maybe, I don't mm. know. Well, let me go look in the other room where we have all of our stuff moved. Maybe um, one of the parts got stuck over there or something. No, or, I or kept stuff. it all. I mean, go ahead. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, this should be an yeah, interesting night. <laughs> Let's hope we get this hooked up. I can get my dishes washed. And uh, we're eventually going to get uh, new appliances in here too. It's going to be really pretty. 
And I absolutely love the granite. I just think it's it's beautiful. It sure beats that old ugly tile I used to have in here. So anyway, super excited. It's just kind of a work in progress and uh, we'll just keep you guys posted. I know that some of you are just dying to know how that plumbing job ended up last night. So let me just take a quick second here to show you. Then I got some other testing to do. You see those bowls? Well, what does that tell you? So basically I've got some leaks still and um, I'm gonna have to bring in, you know, a real plumber and just ask him to, you know, see why I still have little drips. And, you know, I just don't wanna risk it and have these bursts or anything like that. So, you know, I gave it a shot and we'll just have the real guys pros come in and do it. I think I maybe cut some too short, some pipes too short. I mean, my connectivity looks right. Everything looks like it's in the right places and stuff, but it just still drips kind of goofy, so. All right, and checking one, two, three. I'm wearing the lavalier. The microphone that we purchased this sits on top of the Sony uh, camera. Actually had another input jack for a microphone. So I thought, hey, I wonder if the lavalier could also then plug into this uh, smaller camera. And I think it works, so tell me what you think, if it sounds a lot better now, because when I turn my head and I do editing and whatnot, the, the audio track should stay with us. So hey, this could be really cool. And I know that Cali Kim can handle connecting this and uh, you know getting all wired up. So I think we're in. We're in good here, so we'll give it a shot. Well, little update here. We'll talk to you guys later. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, you're filming up here? I didn't even know that. Yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you guys have a good night. Just checking my Instagram before I go to bed. See you later.